Well, it is time for my backyard garden update and seedling starter update. I am currently outside with it being 35 degrees Fahrenheit out, so it's a little chilly. And for the last couple nights and the next three nights, it's gonna drop into the low 20s. So planting anything at this time would be futile, not worth it, so I will not be doing any of that. Um, but I just wanna share the little bits we've gotten done. I didn't do an update last week. Uh, there's not a whole lot that's happened actually either this week just because of weather and timing of things and life that's been happening. So um, we did get all the bigger branches and the area cleaned up over by the fence where we had that pile of sticks and rubbish and stuff like that. So that got taken away. We borrowed a trailer and took it to our disposal area. We have not moved the garden shed yet or the aquaponic tubs at this point. We need to borrow someone's um, bobcat or skid steer or something in order to get all that moved, in order to get the garden shed moved as well. We need to pour a foundation in the new area. So that is something that my husband and I think may not happen before I actually plant some of the other garden area which I'm kind of disappointed on, but I know it's how life works and it's not always gonna happen that way. I haven't had anything tilled yet. I'm hoping maybe this weekend to have where I'm gonna plant my potatoes and onions be tilled because I can get those in the ground. It is supposed to warm up this next week into the 60s and 70s. So, you know, living in the Midwest in Zone 5 in South Dakota, you never know what the weather is gonna be like. It could still snow at the end of April, um, even beginning of May. So I don't want to rush into things, but I do have a little anxiety with wanting to get stuff in the ground as well with baby coming relatively soon. So then to the seedling factor, I had a transplanted a few of my pumpkin plants because they were just way too large for those little teeny seed cells and starter trays and I planted those and they're doing great out at my husband's warehouse facing that south window. I moved a couple of the broccoli out of their seed trays too and they're actually flourishing in how I planted them. Now I didn't move them all because I didn't have enough planters I guess <laughs> for how much broccoli and cabbage I started and so I'm gonna just see if they'll hold out for a couple more weeks or so in those seed cells um, and you know if I do lose a few it's not the end of the world. I only planted two broccoli and two cabbage last year but I know this year I have like 16 of each so that's gonna be a lot for me to handle anyways so those are doing really well cucumbers I transplanted a few of those as well because they need a little more space the tomatoes and peppers are doing pretty well I've had a few peppers die off um, some of my flowers are getting a little droopy those snapdragons that I let sit outside a couple weeks ago that I told you about they did not really come back maybe a couple of the seed cell um, little pockets came back but I did plant some more in a big pot so I'll have to see how to take care of those too as well to transplant all of that I am going to be getting some flowers from my neighbor Karen um, she has that midsummer cottage style garden video that I have up here that you should definitely check out. I'm gonna be getting some flowers from her that I'll be putting in my flower bed because she is very gracious and willing to share. So on the flower side, I do have my um, like rose bush is really doing well. Some plants I got last year that I didn't know if would come back are doing pretty well as well. Of course, mint takes off. It's going all over. Some of my decorative grasses are taking off really well. Things are turning green. It's nice. Not a lot of tulip color yet. Just my one hyacinth that I planted last year is coming up. But it's been fun to see the green come out. And so, yeah, there's not a lot of progress on the planting side of that for you. So I may have to just do that in another video in May when we get to actually planting the garden. But anyways, just wanted to update you all on that.